In this video, we're going to create the second user interface for our application. And this is going to be register new account page. And we're going to create a few text fields here. Uh, first name, last name, email address, user password, and then repeat user password again. A label, which is going to be a header for our application uh, page. And then two buttons, cancel and sign up button with different colors. Cancel button will dismiss this page and sign up button will eventually collect details, collect text values from this text field, and then it will send the HTTP request to our server side. Okay, so uh, let's go back to our main storyboard. And on the right side here, I have the right panel on and I have attributes inspector on and I have objects library here and I was looking for a label so I'll delete this and I'm going to look for a new view controller so I typed in view and it filtered objects for me and now I can click drag and drop view controller I can then uh, position it uh, next to the sign in page by clicking on this bar below and I can move it around the uh, main storyboard and now it is here so I need to look for a label again and this label I need for my page header something like this so I'll stretch it from side to side and I will give it a, a volume on the right side in the attributes inspector i will change the label value to register new account okay and i will also make it bold and that's fine okay so next i need to drag a few text elements so I will filter my objects by text, click, drag and drop the text element, stretch it from side to side. And the very first one, oh, you know what, actually, let's make them, let's feed two in one, because this is going to be for first name. And then I will need one for the last name. Like this. Last names are usually a little bit longer than first name. So first name, and I will change the placeholder for this element. That's going to be first name. And this field is going to be last name. I'm not going to set any keyboard type for this or any background colors or any different font colors. I'll leave everything as uh, default, but I'm going to uh, set the clear button because I like when the clear button is always available is always visible okay so the next one is email address I will click and drag and drop this text field for email address change the placeholder and then clear button is always visible and I will change the input type or the keyboard type for this um, text field and that's going to be email address so where is my email address here okay okay so the next two fields that i need to create are uh, user password and then repeat user password to make sure that the there is no typo in the password so I dragged and dropped the text field. So that's going to be user password or simply password like this password. Clear button is always visible and it's going to be a secure text field. This is very important. So the password is not displayed as a clear text. We want it to be a secure text entry so that um, the characters that user types in are being replaced with the uh, bold dots as soon as user types them. And one more text field for the validation that the password above is correct. And I will give it a placeholder, something like repeat. 
yeah, repeat password. And um, same settings for this field. Clear button is always visible. Uh, no, let's re this is going to be secure text field. Okay, so now we're done with our text fields. We need two buttons and I'm going to filter my objects by button. Click, drag and drop the button element here. Oops. Stretch it a little bit like this. And that's going to be cancel button. And I will um, scroll down a little bit to my view and change background of this button from uh, a default to a red one. And then the tint of this button will be white. So that's a cancel button. And then I'll click on the button and hold command D. I click, hold command button and then tapped on D button to duplicate the button to make sure it's of the same size. Uh, okay. And uh, that's going to be a sign up button. Sign up button. Okay. And I will change the background color of sign up button to dark green. And uh, this is it, I think, for this interface. So we have um, a label, register new account, type in first name, type in last name, email address, password. One more thing that we need to do is I will again select entire view controller here. Now I'll go to this uh, button to resolve auto layout issues and I'll reset the suggested constraints. Okay, so and the way it works is now uh, you see this panel below here. I can view it uh, as iPhone 7, for example. I can click on this panel. And then currently my user interface orientation is portrait. But I can rotate it and preview it as um, landscape. And if I look at my sign-in page, I think it's um, all the elements are aligned well. I don't have to fix anything. And same for this view. Uh, everything is okay. Uh, I'm happy even with the sign up button being um, bigger than the cancel button so that it stands up more and uh, user is invited to sign up rather than cancel uh, and lose all the data. Anyways, but you're always um, free to adjust the lens and the position of your elements uh, and manually one by one. So I'm going to rotate back to portrait. I'm happy with it. And then I'm going to continue with my next page, which is going to be a protected page.